Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, I don't know. This is a day one training vlog. I got my potion, my pre. Uh, I'm just sitting outside my apartment right now, and I'm about to go drive over to the gym. It's a Monday, a leg day. This shit tastes pretty gas. Got a couple sets of 10 for squats today. Probably gonna warm up on the hamstring curl first. Then maybe after squats back to the hamstring curl. And then uh, probably some quad extensions. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll film all that. I'm probably just gonna I don't know if y'all heard that. Somebody always says, skr, skr. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to film every exercise. I'm definitely filming the squats. Uh, just because I definitely want to be able to check my form on those. But probably won't film just, like, me going psycho on the leg machines. Uh, but, yeah. See y'all at the gym. Alright, so uh, right here I'm just uh, warming up with a plate. Uh, I got a bumper plate, a yellow, that I'm uh, putting my heels on to uh, kind of elevate them. I also have some shoes that have an elevated heel for squatting, but decided not to use those today and to try out using a plate. Uh, did use a 25 plate. I'm thinking maybe I should use a 10 next time. Uh, the elevation was good. Definitely was feeling the quads, but uh, just think that maybe a 10 would be better and the 25 is just a little bit too much, but just warming up with that. All right, uh, in this clip, I moved to 185, and uh, here's where I started feeling like my I don't know if it's like my adductor, not my adductor, my abductor, or um, it's possibly like meniscus issues. I was squatting heavy like a couple months back and also running and started developing some like clicking in my knee. And so it's been intermittent like uh, issues with it, but But yeah, um, what I was saying was I had a, was having some issues with my knee. I'm not really sure what it is. I could go get it checked out, but most of the time if I warm up right, I usually can get away with it and it doesn't ever cause any pain. Today it didn't really cause any pain. It was just more, uh, I could feel it straining a little bit more than I would like to, um, but just 205 for a little warm up. And uh, now we should be getting into some of the working sets. Yeah, here we're uh, on the first working set, got 225. And uh, I end up kind of pausing between my rest a lot just because I'm uh, out of shape and need to get more uh, GPP. The first couple reps were super grindy. And the last, like, five were super grindy. Uh, but worked up a pretty good sweat uh, hitting these. A little bit more hip shift than I would like, but I'm just doing my best to try to improve. But, uh, yeah, see, I'm grinding like a motherfucker on these. I don't know if you guys can hear that sound, uh, in the background, but it's not me breathing in the mic. It's, uh, a refrigerator. It's in the room with me. 
Sorry about that. But yeah, I'm taking a little bit longer between rests than I probably should, but I just wanted to get as many in as I possibly could. There's this dude next to me on the Smith machine, and I'm not sure if it was this clip or the next one, but I think he comes over because he thinks I, I mean, with how I look like I'm squatting, I probably do need a spot, but uh, I told him thank you, but I, I appreciate it, but I'm good. Uh, I think it was the next clip, actually. All right, yeah, here I had uh, two ten, two fifteen, something like that. So forty-five, a thirty-five, and a two and a half. What's that? Two ten. So uh, two ten. Just trying to get more volume in. Uh, my other leg day later this week. You guys will see I use a hack squat slash leg press whichever one's available really um just to kind of keep the thrashing of my knees uh to a minimum i've tried more high frequency squatting in the past and it's never really worked out for me it's just kind of ended in getting injured uh on this set or the next one, I think I started adjusting my bar position from like a pure high bar like on the traps to like a little bit like where the traps meet the uh, rear delt, more of a uh, hybrid position, not necessarily like a super low bar. But uh, yeah, just trying to... That pause was uh, not necessary. Probably should not have paused that rep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I just died right there. Shit. So uh, after that uh, set of killing myself, I decided to drop it again to 185. Just still trying to get reps in. Uh, if anything, like for the quad volume as much as the skill work, of having to fight against the bar in that uh, squat position. Yeah, here I really uh, moved it, moved the bar to more of like a low bar or hybrid position instead of on the traps. It's really on the rear delts now. Just uh, trying to take my, sorry, trying to take my back out of it as much as possible. Um, On higher rep squats, I tend to get a pretty good back pump just because of uh, having a shorter torso, I guess, proportionally. But uh, having to lean forward more in the squat, as well as like my hips shooting back. I need to work on that, but that'll come with time. adjusting my feet a lot here something I was fucking with my knee wrap and my pants or not wrap uh, sleeve before this uh, set started just not feeling that confident in it all right uh, this is the last set of squats I dropped it to 135 just to try and get some reps uh, Honestly, I have no idea how many reps I did in any of these clips. I haven't gone back and counted. I really don't care. It was just more of a feel day. Sometimes you just got to go in and play it by ear. Do what the muscles feel like they can do. Sometimes it's good to push it. Um, good to push yourself into uncomfortable situations. Force your body to adapt. That's always good. Um, but main training should probably be on the side of light if you're doing it often if you're working out three days a week you should go pretty heavy but uh i'm working out five sometimes six and 
I find that if I can keep it light and just keep my frequency up in terms of how much I go to the gym, I feel better and I tend to see better results so far. Not that saying much, I'm only two years in. Uh, most of my first year was kind of spent at home working out with like a one inch barbell, so it wasn't the most productive way I could have spent my time, but it definitely uh, gave me the confidence to actually join a gym. So if uh, all you got or all you're comfortable with is working out in your home, then that's a great place to start. It'll get you feeling more confident in your own physical abilities, and that's always good. But uh, here, just trying to get as much uh, volume in with these squats as possible. Uh, I don't know if this counts as like two sets since I like racked and then came back to it, but just uh, just wanted to get the volume in. I guess that's the point of today. Even if uh, things don't feel the best or uh, aren't going your way, you can still do the work. You can still go in and do what you're capable of for that day and be okay with knowing that you did what you could. But uh, yeah, here I kind of racked it, took a little pause. I'm not sure how long it was. It was just more uh, till I could catch my breath need to uh, try and work in more cardio into my routine or uh, sled pulls just to build GPP you can you can see the sweat glistening dripping off of me I mean it's definitely a humid hot day here in Tennessee but uh I was dripping absolutely dripping but anyways guys that's gonna be the uh, end of the video after uh, that last clip, <clears throat> went and annihilated hamstrings and quads with some uh, isolation work. Overall, a uh, good day. And uh, see y'all tomorrow. Adios.